Where's that hecking on button? Ooh, I found it! Let's play! Good evening everybody, Loke here with the H.IO Indies and today we have Seaway, a little adventure game which makes itself known to be an island explorer where you destroy ships in order to become the richest slave master in the world. So yep, there's the little hook right there. You're a slave master and for the person that normally tries to play Paragon in games, this makes me incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> There are many, many games that have been released over the last couple of days on itch.io indies due to Ludum Dare being a little thing that has come up. A game jam, of all things. But not just any game jam. In fact, it was Ludum Dare, apparently one of the world's largest and longest running game jam events, where apparently every six months, as you can see here, it challenges creators to make a game from scratch in a weekend. So that's just 48 hours. Therefore, what we will see will indeed have been made over 48 hours. The theme being your life is currency, as it is fitting into Seaway. But yes, let's get into Seaway. So, just going off of the little blurb that we do indeed have, we are told to gather the many slaves lost in the islands and trade them for power-ups in harbours. Really, really uncomfortable here. <laughs> to have an easier time destroying your rivals and looting their crew. I'm more comfortable about that bit because we're taking down the bad guys. We're not the bad guys, promises. But beware that losing all your slaves could end up in a shipwreck. That might not be the worst place to be, to be honest. I don't want any slaves. I don't want to be a part of this. But I'm playing Seaway because it's going to make me uncomfortable and think about it. We're using people as currency and we're becoming detached from them. There's something incredibly powerful about that. And it breaks my brain slightly, it breaks my brain slightly. You can also enter a peaceful mode and enjoy a non-violent world, which sounds very nice indeed. But let's not do that. Let's get into the moral grey area and go straight in, well, with Seaway. Let's, let's see how we do so we can now direct our path with our little boat. But we can also shoot with a little boat as well. So we've got that nice element as well. Perhaps, ooh, perhaps one of the upgrades will be to... Uh, Increase our range of our ship. Oh, yes. Can I? What's on the sh What's on the island? Show me what's on the island. Apparently, I need to find people. So apparently, I'm very evil. I mean, evil battle. Oh. Ah. I. Uh, that. That was a. Uh, yeah. I think we just enslaved some people. That's not good. Up here, little belt. Oh, I like this purple one. I like the purple one. <laughs> It's just so pretty! This game is so hecking pretty! And adorable! Oh! Hello there! Uh oh! Run away! Run away! We're small! We're too small! Nope! Nope! Get away! Get away! We're far too small for this! We're far too small, but we're speedy! Run away! Run away! Over here! Over here! No! I don't feel too bad about this, to be honest! Ah! No! My boat! Do I feel bad about that? Probably not, but then everybody did die on our boat, so I feel very bad about that. Let's try again. Let's see if we can't get any better. Let's see if we can get a bigger boat. Let's see if we can't get some other weapons and such. Ooh, the snow's pretty. The snow's very pretty. This is oh, it's such an amazing game, just in terms of the aesthetics of it. It's gorgeous. And the music as well. Oh, I love the music. Is that people? Yep, that was three people. Three peoples. I've got a feeling this is going to be deceptively difficult. <laughs> this game. Th this is going to be the deceptively difficult type of game. Where you're like, yeah, this is it. It'll be fine. It's easy. It's easy. And then two minutes later, you're getting screwed. I think there's an invisible wall here. My boat's doing a freak out. Okay. This way, please. Yeah, I suppose there is a limited scope for uh, 48 hours of development. You can't really uh, be expecting the world from a little game. You can't be expecting the world. So, invisible barriers make sense. <gasps> Little boat, I'm gonna boop you. I'm actually too small for that boat. Don't boop me! No! Ah! Ah! I'm being demolished! Leave me alone! Okay. Whew, I took my people back. <laughs> I did a panic, but everything's fine. I'm a pirate, damn it. I'm a pirate. The worst pirate you may have ever heard of, but at least you've heard of me. Oh dear. Oh dear me. <gasps> Rainbows! I want to be on the rainbow. I want to be on the rainbow. Let me on the rainbow place. The rainbow place is pretty. I like the rainbow island. Can we come over here? 
Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh, I'm getting angry. That's how pretty it is. <laughs> oh, why am I so angry? It's just like, ah, oh, so pretty, damn it. But at the same time, so, so morally grey. I love games like this. It's just like, yeah, you're making these decisions. Think about why you're making these decisions. It's like, because I want to progress in the game. But I just, just enslaved three people. I mean, that, that that's horrendous. I'm a horrendous person. Don't, don't, no. I'm going to say that I'm saving them from being trapped on the islands. Yep, yep, we're definitely the good guys. We're definitely not the bad guys, Hans promises. Promises. We're, we're, we're the good guys. Nobody can tell me otherwise, right? Right? Then, like, it doesn't. It doesn't say slaves. It doesn't say slaves. It, it could be saved. Could be saved. We we don't know. Just 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 ignore the blurb thing that I talked about. We do, we don't know. We don't know. We're just we're on a boat. We're the only way for them to get off the island. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's on fire, except my bullets. They're very much on fire. Okay, we can't go all that way either. Can we save you? Yep, there we go. We saved them, see? See, even I'm getting into the, the mindset of saving them, but that's what people would have thought at the time. Oh god, this is horrendous. <laughs> Seriously, just just the morality of this is extremely questionable. And it's making me very hecking uncomfortable. That is a big ship. We need to run away. Get away from you. We're too small. We're too small to be dealing with that. We're far too small. Okay, we need to keep finding the people's door. There we go. I just... Oh! It's all good! No, run away! Run away! Yes! Okay, we're fine. Seems we can hold our own against these... Th these rogues. <laughs> no! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! No! Okay, uh, I think we may have both gained and lost some people there. <gasps> Little shit. Boom. Ah, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away! I started a fight, I couldn't finish! No, stop it! Stop firing on me! No! Fire back! Yes! Okay, we're just gonna keep meandering around, just booping people, seeing if we can't find, you know, a little uh, harbour to try and get some power-ups, because we, we stumbled across a harbour and then we got decimated uh, by some bigger ships. Ow! We got decimated by some bigger ships when we went near the harbour, so I want to see some of the upgrades we can in fact get, because we've not yet found another harbour. Perhaps I'm going too far around the outside. Perhaps there's lots of small ships around the outside. And only when you get onto the inside can you get bigger guns and all that jazz. Because we've only got our trusty cannon at the moment. We've only got a trusty little cannon. And I do want to get the big guns. I want to get the big guns indeed. But it does mean trading our life for the big guns there. See what they did there? See what they did there with the whole trading life thing? Very much enjoy it. I very much like it. But I just... ah, uh, I can just appreciate it for the... The aesthetic and the the feeling that you're getting from it. Oh, so good. But I want to show off the, the trading mechanic. Because they've worked hard on it, damn it. I can tell that this team worked hard on this little game. And I love it. So pretty. There's so many games I could have covered. Because there's so many good, so many good games that have come out of this Ludum Dare. But just the aesthetic and the feeling. There we go, there's one. The aesthetic and the feeling that I get from this, and, and the feeling of of confusion and discomfort is what really drew me in. Ooh. Full broadside, long cannons, speed up, damage up, bullet speed up, or cool down down. Cool down. Cool, cool down squared. Um, hmm. Get damage up, and ooh, the damage up gets more expensive. Speed up, cool down down. Another damage up. Oh, there we go. We can be a bit more, uh, a bit more long range with our fights. Let's let's go on and take a bigger ship. We're gonna die taking on a bigger ship, but we'll do it with valor, damn it. And I just traded people for upgrades. 
Okay. That didn't even enter my mind. That just went straight to, oh, you see an upgrade thing, you go and do it. I'm a monster. This game has turned me into a monster. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It just... <laughs> I, know, I, I know I'm making that joke a lot, but seriously, it's just that disconnect that you feel from the premise because of of of, of everything in this game, of, of, of the beauty of it and of the serene soundtrack. You don't think about how you are trading away people's lives. It's... It's got a really dark undercurrent to this. And it's great. It's absolutely amazing. Are they different? No, they're all the same. Okay, they're all the same little upgrades. So that's good to know. See, we can't take out a bigger ship with our newfound power. We should take them out with our power. Oh! <laughs> I surprised myself with my own little shot. Come on, I want to find a ship and I want to wreck it for grand finale. Gonna take out the big ship. Take out the big ship. Where's the big ship? Come at me, bro. Come at me, big ship. <gasps> Little ship. No! Okay. Down here. Ah! <laughs> I'm really bad at taking on ships. I'm gonna get wrecked by a big one. I'm gonna get wrecked by a big one. Up here. No. Up. Woo! No! Okay, we, we got a lot of people out there. We got a lot of people. I want to say resources, but that that's a step too far. We want to we, we, we wanna see them. We want to see them as people. We don't want to make them lose their humanity. No! Don't kill me. Don't want to make them lose their humanity. Take out the big ship! Uh-oh. That's a broadside. That's a broadside. No, stop it. Oh, Bugger. Bugger, bugger, heck, heck. That has been Seaway. An adorable game with a dark undercurrent. Oh. I love it so much. I love it so much. It's extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult. And again, for somebody that enjoys playing as the Paragon, being made to play in the morally grey is <laughs> refreshing and disturbing at the same time. Massive props to the creators of this game. I absolutely love it. I just want to quickly say the creators, because again, this, this has been so good. It's been made by Constantine Leotard, Thomas Dennis, Louis Valle, and Maxime Cattell. Apologies if I've mispronounced any of your names. And also, apparently, they've got a little uh, game studio, Borderline Games. So I'll most definitely be checking out some of their other stuff. This this has been good. This has been very good indeed. And I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. Thoroughly recommend checking this out yourself. Just, just if you want to have a morally grey, anxious time while shooting pirate ships, Seaway is your thing. Link is in the description below. Definitely check it out. Unfortunately, it does indeed come to the shield, shield, shield bit of today's itch.io indies. If you have enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If not, that's perfectly fine as well. Those sorts of things can go and ramble continuously about how this makes me uncomfortable, but enjoys it nonetheless. <laughs> Much like I have in this game here. Damn it. I really have rambled on and on and on about that. I might seem like a broken record, a broken record, a broken record. But yes, thank you so much for watching our videos. I hope you have a wonderful evening and good night.